Hey, in case you hadn't heard, you can now run Oracle services like Oracle Database, WebLogic Server, Coherence and Java JRE as Docker containers. These Oracle containers are available on Docker Store and you can run them using Oracle Container Cloud Service. Let me demo that to you by pulling a WLS image and running it as a container and then launching the WLS admin console. Once I've logged into Container Cloud Service, first thing to do is to define a new registry definition for the Docker Store. You only have to do this the first time. Once it's defined, you don't have to do it again. I set the URL to index.docker.io slash store and then use my Docker credentials for the username and password. And we'll have Docker store as the description. There's even a validate button here to test the connection. Once I've saved the new registry definition for the Docker store, I'm done. Now let's create a new service in Container Cloud Service for the WLS image I'm going to pull from the Docker store. Let's call it a WLS service. All the other defaults are fine here. Now I can go to the Docker store and find the WLS image that I want to pull down and deploy. I search for Oracle WebLogic Server. Aha, there it is. Next I click the Get Content button, agree to the terms of service and click the Get Content button again. Handily the command to run the WLS container is shown in the description. Let's copy the one that explicitly specifies the host port as 7001. And paste that back into the Container Cloud Service Editor on the Docker Run tab. And save the service. Now I can deploy the WLS image as a running container just by clicking the Deploy button next to the service on the services page. And click deploy again. And there it's running. To prove it's running, let's log in to the WLS Adcom admin console. To do that, I need to find out the IP address of the VM it's running on. I can find that on the deployments page by clicking on the host name. Now let's copy the public IP address into a browser along with the port number and the word console to start the admin console. And there it is. WebLogic server is running. So to prove that, let's log in and to do that I need to get the username and password. Let's go back to Container Cloud Service to find those. They're in the containers log file. Okay, so here's the username. That's easy enough to remember, WebLogic. And here's the password, so I'll copy and paste that. That's a bit more tricky. Back in the WLS console window, let's plug in those credentials. WebLogic and the password I just copied. And log in. And here's the admin console. We've now got WLS running as a Docker container. How easy was that? We've deployed the WLS Docker image from the Docker store directly into my Oracle Cloud Platform account through the Container Cloud service. If you don't have an account yet, go to cloud.oracle.com slash try it and get one with free credits to try it out.